Hello and welcome to the Watches TV. The chronograph is a challenging complication to create and manufacture. But the split seconds chronograph, which is the focus of this report, is even more challenging. If you are following our current saga about the chronograph, then you know that it is a function designed to measure periods of time on demand. Normal chronograph counts elapsed seconds, minutes and oftentimes hours. But there are extra complicated chronographs that provide much more information. The flyback chronograph presented in the last episode is an example, but the shining star of this category is undoubtedly the split seconds chronograph. The split seconds chronographs allow the wearer to measure intermediate periods of time during an ongoing measurement. In other words, instead of stop, reset and start over again, the split seconds chronograph displays intermediate time while the function remains active. How is it possible? By having two second hands on the top of each other and a pusher dedicated to the function. The hand on top is considered the leader. In other words, it behaves like any normal chronograph second hand and comes back to its place only when the system is stopped. The other one, which can be called the follower, is positioned underneath and it circles along the dial with the other by default. This hand becomes active only to obtain intermediate times. So what happens when you want to know how long your favorite Formula 1 car needed to complete the first lap of the race? By pressing the split seconds pusher, the follower hand stops as the leader continues. At this moment, you can read the first interval or lap time. To continue the measure and maybe get another interval, then you have to press again the button. The follower hand will instantaneously go back to its initial place underneath the leader and once again, the wearer sees only one second hand moving on the dial as the hands are stacked. The split seconds chronograph is very demanding for watchmakers because of its complexity. Indeed, it involves a subgroup of components which is very delicate to set. In fact, few brands are able to manufacture split seconds chronograph because of this. For instance, at the 2015 edition of Basel World, Patek Philippe introduced a new split seconds chronograph with a more efficient split system. But such pieces are exceptions. And finally, the split seconds chronograph is compatible with other functions as the flyback chronograph. But the story of complex chronographs doesn't naturally stop here and wait for the next installment in which we focus on some recent crazy evolutions. Bye!